Hey guys, it's Random Girl here. Today I'm bringing you a guide for hunting at Hetz Oasis using crocodiles. The idea of this type of hunter is to control a crocodile, send it out into the water to catch scarabs. There are several different types of scarabs, but we'll get into that later. First, let's look at gear. The only true requirement is a croc speak amulet, which you may have gained in an earlier quest. If not, you can speak to Dundee to get one. My croc speak amulet is combined into my cramulet. I'm also wearing my Elite Trapper outfit. If you don't have the full set, just wear whichever pieces that you do have, as it will be handy to have an increase to the catch rate of the Scarabs. Luck of the Dwarves is also handy, as it will help you get statue and tablet pieces for Oasis Restoration if you haven't already completed it. Now let's look at Scarabs. There are six different types, the default being plain scarabs which require nothing extra to catch. Other scarabs require higher hunter levels and to have built flower boxes and placed flowers in them. There are four different flower boxes which each require five teak planks and ten steel nails to build. The quickest way to catch scarabs with the highest success rate is to catch the base level ones, so you might want to consider doing that until you've unlocked all the crocodile upgrades that Dundee offers. If you'd rather take the risk of a lower catch rate and higher XP, then put whichever flowers suit your hunter level into your flower boxes to attract different types of scarabs. The different types of scarabs can also be ground up into different types of powders. I will explain the powders, but that's a whole other video for now. A side note on flowers, for those of you wanting to catch dazzling scarabs, the golden roses are randomly awarded when picking other flowers, so it may take a little bit of time to get these. I'd recommend only using them after you have all the upgrades from Dundee to make sure that you have the best catch chance and don't waste the flowers. Now the best piece of advice that I can give you for hunting scarabs is to find an empty world if possible. I always choose the eastern hunting area as it always seems less populated. At the current point in time, whether intentional or not, scarab hunting does seem a little bit broken. Being that if you're in a world with lots of people, scarabs seem to disappear really quickly, even before you can click or before your croc can get there. This is because other players are clicking on them. Hop to an empty world and you shouldn't encounter this problem. Once you're ready to start, click on the croc to start hunting. Click on a scarab out in the water, then once your croc starts to move towards the water, you can click on up to four other scarabs to stack for your croc to catch afterwards. The croc will come back to the bank occasionally and spit up scarab shells which you can collect if you want to make powders or sell, otherwise you can leave them on the ground to avoid a little bit of running around. It seems to be a random place where the croc will drop them not necessarily where you are standing, so having your loot interface up is handy if you are wanting to pick up these shells. Make sure every so often you check back with Dundee to make sure you claim any upgrades you're eligible for to make the whole process faster and smoother. And that's it. Once you get the hang of it, croc hunting is a pretty simple process. Just quite time consuming and not great for AFKing. Let me know in the comments below how you're finding it or if you run into any troubles. Also make sure you guys hit like and subscribe and tell your friends. Once we hit a thousand subscribers, we'll be giving away a couple of golden party hats. Stay tuned. Hey, you like my knife? That's not a knife. This is a knife. What sound does a crocodile make? <laughs>